Hey, how's it guys? Dom the Bomb here from Young's Performance Craft. Uh, our little project for today, I'm going to be playing around with the uh, motor trim. I've set the CG as I've shared over the last uh, two days, I think it is three days. I've set the CG uh, forward. Uh, we're running at about 35%. I've got the battery in the cockpit. I've had a little bit of a struggle lengthening my three phase wires, which I've hopefully overcome now. Time will tell. But anyway, um, what I'm playing around with now. Is the trim of the motor uh, this is the enigma leg that i've designed and just uh, in brief quickly i suppose for some of you i've shared this at ab nauseum but the unique thing about the enigma leg is that it trims and cambers so you can see when i turn the leg here i have a seven degree camber and i don't know if you can notice this but as it trims as well it actually it changes the attitude of the thrust angle that comes down by a degree which basically ends up being about four millimeters at the prop end which is quite significant so that puts the nose of the boat down and rolls it in the turn and one of the other things i'm having to come to terms with now running an electric setup as i'm used to running nitro and gas is the um the different setup of the boat you know when you were when i ran a nitro boat or a gas boat we had quite a heavy um motor on the transom the tank would generally be uh, in the CG area because as the fuel diminished and the weight diminished, you want the least amount of effect. If you had the tank right at the back or you had the tank up front, your CG would change as the fuel diminished. So you would try and run your fuel on your CG and then you'd have your radio box in front here. And the problem with that is you had a, you had a CG again that was set pretty far back. The only difference was and is, is that with a uh, fuel motor, uh, seems to have more horsepower more torque you can actually run your engine more negative and uh, you can use your motor to keep the trim of the boat down but i'm finding with the electric obviously there's a lot of differences here your rpm is different your weight on the transom is different and uh, just i have to change the paradigm here i'm kind of used to running a, a motor that's quite negative but i'm realizing with the electric setup it's look leaning more towards sort of parallel uh, to the running surface and maybe even like i've got it set up today this is what i'm intrigued to see for myself this will kind of be the first time i don't know how closely you can see this but i'm actually running an ever so slightly positive positive leg i just want to see what effect that's got and i'll take it back from there so let's get this on the water and uh, see what it performs okay like. so this will be a quick uh, discernment i'll be able to tell very quickly if the positive is it working well or not? There's a light breeze in the water. Terrible wildlife. Still turning very nicely. I just want to say I'm happy with this trim. It's 
quite a strong breeze running downwind and it's riding quite nicely. Running well into the wind, very flighty. There we go. Blow in the lead again. Damn it, man. Okay, so attempts after that run. 25 bottom of the motor, let's say 32 the top motor is very cool. Check the ESC. I'd almost say in the, uh, let's say 50 because it's been a few minutes since I brought the boat in which isn't too bad. The power, power plug. In the 40s and if I can get to the battery there, just one in the battery. Battery is also cool, let's say in the high 35. Okay, but we continue to blow a three phase wire. It's the usual culprit, uh, the middle wire, third wire. I don't know why that is. As you can see, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna write this off to a poor solder and I'm gonna try and just resolder this because these other plugs look great. Um, I don't know why it's my middle wire it keeps doing that. I mean, it could even be a there could even be a fault on the motor, which isn't it is an old motor. As I said before, I've taken this out of Morrissey Surfer. But yeah, I'm just going to take that out and repair that. And uh, Yeah, let's write it off to a poor solder. I mean, the other side looks fine. So the way I have my power wires here, I have the center uh, phase wire in the motor coming to the center here. And this is the one. This is the one that, for whatever reason, has been failing on every possible joint I've tried. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to switch out this middle wire here. I'm going to switch it out to one of the either left or right, obviously to accomplish the right direction of rotation. And then I'm going to observe if this wire, let's say, is in, in, in this plug over here on the left hand side or the one on the right hand side and that plug fails. Then I'm going to know for sure. There's obviously a, 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 an excessive heating issue uh, in this particular phase here and it could very well be the motor but let's hope uh, that when i resolder this joint the problem solved eh? we live in hope but as for the trip actually the first time i've run a ever so slightly positive motor and i thought the boat looked quite nice in the water um you know tunnel holes are flighty uh, you're dealing with uh you're dealing with air pressure in the tunnel uh, it's coming from different angles um that's the exciting thing about them when you watch the when you watch the full-scale boats running, you see the thrill is just keeping them on the edge. So we don't want a completely boring boat, but you want a boat that you feel like you can manage. And I definitely felt like I could manage the boat well there. And especially in the turns. I mean, she's laying down nicely uh, into the turns, both, both left and right. So I'm going to leave that sitting there for a while and uh, play around with that.